if you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I, I go, no. Yeah. Are you healthy? If you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, and like, I don't think you need to worry about this. Yeah, I, t I tend to agree with you. I'm not injecting my daughter with something to f virtue signal. Right. Like, I'm not doing that. Right. If there's something that she's of no risk, statistically has no risk from, right. I'm sorry. I'm not taking any experiment uh, on her in that. And that's that's my attitude But it's it. amazing that that's controversial. Yeah. We're talking about something that is not statistically dangerous for children. Just quickly, your response? Well, that's incorrect, Savannah. And the reason why is that you're talking about yourself in a vacuum then. You're worried about yourself getting infected and likelihood that you're not going to get any symptoms. But you can get infected and will get infected if you put yourself at risk. You are propagating the outbreak because it is likely that you, even if you have no symptoms, that you may inadvertently and innocently then infect someone else who might infect someone who really could have a problem with a severe outcome. Yeah. So if you yeah. want to only worry about yourself and not society, then that's okay. But Joe Rogan is wrong. Uh, I'm hoping that he was just trolling for new subscribers, but that kind of, uh, he has a pretty big platform and that's really destructive. Look, what we know is that over the last uh, two months, particularly with the new uh, UK variant, the B117 variant, this virus has been infecting and hospitalizing young people. This virus doesn't have to kill you to hurt you. You know, uh, everyone, I think, knows now somebody who is suffering from long hauler uh, uh, symptoms from this virus. And maybe most importantly now, the young are the reservoirs of this virus in our community. They are really powering the spread. So the only way to put this virus down once and for all is to uh, immunize and inoculate, vaccinate, uh, young people. He's left us, Donald Trump, a poison pill that is really undermining our ability to get this uh, pandemic under control. And a lot of blood and a lot of lives uh, are on his hands and on the hands of people who continue to propagate this nonsense to the American people. I, if I can make a plea, it would be turn away from these charlatans turn toward the CDC and other legitimate sources of information. You chose to wear a mask, sir. You chose to wear a mask. You chose to wear a mask as you walked out here. What message were you sending by wearing a mask outside alone? By watching me take it off and not put it back on to like it inside. I am among the fully vaccinated, uh, joined Team Pfizer, uh, and I did go jogging today in the park. Uh, and I did, this was the mask that I wore with a doctor's mask under it. Frankly, outdoor mask mandates should just go regardless of whether you're vaccinated. Um, there are a lot of locales and states that still have blanket mask mandates. So even if you live in a suburban area or rural area where you don't see that many people, there's still mask mandates in place. That does not make any sense. So I actually think outdoor mask mandates can go. The outdoors is safe and no one needs to wear a mask outdoors, period, unless you're two unvaccinated people sitting shoulder to shoulder at a game or something like that.